Paradox destroyed my favorite Stellaris build, Trade Habitat. However, I might have found a solution. From my last video on Trade, you guys suggested a Trade Ring build. So in this video, I'm putting it to the test. We'll be using the same benchmark and settings from that video, Grand Admiral, mid-game scaling, and 2x crisis at year 50, because previously my Fable build would be able to take it on. This is to test how good the build is, how easy it is to get working, and more importantly, if I can get the same draw I did from using trade habitats before this update. I just feel so empty without it. Here's a brief overview of my empire, and I'll be walking through it as we play and giving you all the best tips and tricks on how to get this build to work. Now, you might be wondering, why Shattered Ring? Well, Shattered Ring is now the only planet type that has a trade district. Trade districts give us trader jobs and artisan jobs, but the artisan jobs we don't care about. Traders are important because they're kind of new merchants, just a bit worse. They give trade value. Now, usually you get traders purely from commercial zones, but now we can have basically double the amount because we have districts that give them and we can build commercial zones that give them. This is also important because of our first civic choice, merchant guilds that give us a merchant job which is still here but this is the only way you get them and they give us 15 trade and free amenities decent but more importantly the council position for every level of the person that's the counselor and the director of trade they get 0.4 more trade value so we've obviously gone oligarchic for more counselor experience game and more effective counselor skill to get as much trade value as we can and you also might notice everyone needs to be leveled up that's our second civic choice Pulse of Knowledge, Leaders start at plus one level. I've purely gone this because leaders currently have broken and they just give free resources like alloys. And, well, even better clear block of speed or a ring build? Yes. And cost reduction. Sometimes they don't give us anything good, but they can give us more council experience gain. And sometimes they're just useless, like this Admiral. But we can also see Admirals and leaders in our pool that will give us resources so we will probably get those so we can get a good early economy going this starts pretty standard any techs any hydro bays but we don't need any energy buildings because we will just be relying on trade the main thing is to try and find people so we're just going to explore as much as we can and of course remember to use your military ships to explore because they can do that now so make use of it i'm straight away just gonna buy a few monthly resources just to help us build up the empire now i'm not entirely sure if it's the best to rush inhabiting your other ring segments you can now inhabit them straight away but they have zero habitability and you need to fix them with blockers which you will need specific text for but it doesn't tell me because we don't actually have the planet but the first thing i'm actually going to do is build a science ship so we can find people because we want friends so we can get a trade federation unfortunately no scientists give us any good trait i'm just going to go for the cheapest one and i will make them survey some joke points because we will need more star bases and we don't want to just have one system but maybe we do okay we're gonna just try uh colonize one of these rings segments steve and see what happens we also probably do want to switch over to isolationists for more unity gain just for now i'll just keep it on mixed economy our unity gain is dreadful at the start of the game but that will be fixed as soon as we can get to our first traditions just got to get there the first things i'm actually going to do is build a city district i want to get our science up and running quite well and our secondary planets will be even better for trade because i don't think trade gets as affected as resources do with habitability as you can see resources from jobs are minus 50 percent but trade isn't a resource they have their own positive modifiers such as fanatic xenophile from job pops which is clerks and high stability and as you can see we get trade value and resources from jobs they're two different things this tradition's done we obviously go mercantile mercantile is the trade tradition when we adopt it we get trade protection collection read that does not matter it's all of the other perks that we'll look at as we go on yeah first colony is being done we can do uh blockers but we don't have the tech. let's remove the camera we need global energy management star hold improved deflectors ion thrusters and zero point reactor for any habitability but we're gonna need some tech now there is a case to be made of going global energy management here but honestly that <laughs> we can now launch our agenda we're gonna instantly expand the council because we want to direct of trade and my camera is gone my camera is now back how do exoskeletons we will be going to cybernetic at some point because it actually can give us more trade and we like trade this is trade yeah the city district is done instantly gonna build science 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 trade is just keeping our economy afloat as well as any leader trade i would really like to hire these people but i really need to get down to adaptive and economic policy which allows us to switch our trade into consumer goods of unity and you guess that we're gonna get that unit for now the reason we want a federation is because it combines the two and that is beautiful and the only issue now we have a <laughs> not as much energy ah uh, see we have improved deflectors but i really like research speed we're quite greedy reasoners with open arms we like people and, and, and different aliens 
that's fine. We're going to keep expanding city districts. I do want as much research as I can while we keep going down our mercantile tradition. Clerks providing more trade value is very good. And then eventually we can get traders produce plus two amenities and commercial zones provide additional trader jobs. You can see how this tradition is insanely important for this build. We're also going to replace crew quarters with hydro bays and build star bases in every system we get so we can have our food production from our star bases. And also you can see I'm actually trying to survey to block as many systems as we can. So we've gotten here, this blocks quite a lot off. We've actually found someone. Then I'm going to go back up here to block these three systems off. So we have all of these systems. They're important later on if we want habitats or more star bases, essentially. We found an empire, that's fine. We can just get them more traders. Traders are very good. Well, they're not amazing, but they're better than what we have, pretty much. <laughs> we can also get rid of the enforcer. We don't need an enforcer at this point because crime events only happen over 30% crime and it barely gives us anything. Literally one stability. That does not matter. Hey, okay, Steve, while Steve is being colonized, I should have probably gotten rid of one of the rubble. So we can actually build a district when it's done. Star base done. Hydro Bay. That's that's all you got to do early game and build as many star bases as you can. I'm probably going to colonize the other ring when we can. The ancient rubble is being done while we're here. And look at that. We've got 79 abilities. Doesn't matter. All we want to do on these segments is build trade because trade won't get destroyed by the 0% habitability. Speaking of trade, trade value. I found two empires. Okay, any good leaders? Should have probably hired the ones earlier and I completely forgot. But oh well. There's no leaders that give trade. There is a leader who gives trade value. So that might be the next best thing. We will put them on Steve. It will be marvelous. Just as much trade as possible. Market fee is now reduced, so our monthly buying is even better. We already have an ascension perk. I honestly want leader experience gain. This is really good because we want to get the highest governor we can because they will be a trader person. Higher level means more trade. Does that mean we go aptitude? I'm not sure. I think because we found people, I want to go diplomacy so that we can get a federation as soon as possible. Federation will be insane for our consumer goods and unity because our trade will give both at the same time. It's honestly really good. We just keep going with the science on our capital. There's an empire down here too. Wow. It, honestly, we want to snag some of these worlds. We can use a migration treaty to settle on them. And speaking of, we haven't looked at our trait. We have ring world preference. We can only go on rings. Hence, while we'll need a migration treat on planet. With intelligence, science is very good in stars. Always has been. Thrifty for more trade value. Rapid breeders for more pops. Because honestly, we're limited by the amount of pops. We can get so many traders and clerk. We just won't have the pops to work them. Our capital is only producing 191. But I feel less stressed than when we were playing with habitats. I, I'm liking this build so far. Let's get improved deflectors now so we can get some habitability. It does help because pop growth, just like that tech, is tied to habitability. As you can see, oh, they're working the colonists. Make sure you get rid of colonists and we do not need artisans either. Just traders here because they should be producing tr 10 trade. They are producing 10 trade. Why do we have more? That's because of all the buffs. And remember, don't get negative trade here. Oh, it's great. We should have definitely rushed the second segment. You're playing. Do that. We can now form federation when we can but hopefully these get done soon these first contact and okay, now we have max star bases we might have to stop nope we can put four fire the border on for free because we have 35 edict fund this gives us two more star bases and better upgrade speed maybe we should have put that on initially because it would make the star bases come up quicker probably more efficient hey i i'm not perfect and now we don't even need to do any more in diplomacy we can honestly go for prosperity which helps us build all of these planets up even better a bit late to go it but also not too late because it's only nine years in and now now we can actually clear one of these big blockers. That's 300 and 150 alloys though. So what we can do <laughs> is switch over to our invent environmental engineer quickly and oh look it's even cheaper and then we can just switch them back beautiful okay leader pools are refreshed any good leaders no we've actually just gotten very unlucky with trying to get reasonable straight there is a trader level two we'll grab them press fodal we'll do the same thing a commercial zone and we don't actually have any energy credits i actually think i'll get global energy management just so we can get 50 percent habitability because pop growth is quite important pops we have not got one pop yet here it takes a long time we found a hive mine do they like us that's the real question they're neutral let's just improve with them we can establish embassy honestly i will take anyone joining my federation they do not really want to join we don't know why probably because we're isolationist which we can change in three months so we'll change that also remember get rid of the colonist job for the trader and switch over whenever you want to clear those blockers and we found the league hephasis 
crevices let's be friendly through establish embassy maybe they'll like us a bit more minus 58 we can get that commercial pack honestly we'll save our economy consumer goods are dying right now research pack sure anything to like us minus 58 so we need nine more acceptance and we can do it with favors now this will be changed soon because they're getting rid of favor changing but that's fine because it's not gone yet we can just trade favors for favors and then we do have to give resources still that might get us over the line minus 57 minus 56 yeah it's just gonna tick up slowly we just kind of have to wait and we'll have to just buy as many consumer goods as we can which is maximum 21 how do i always know this well it changes sometimes on updates but it's pinned in my discord so i literally have it up on my second screen looking at the values and you can join the discord in the description down below on aggression pack i mean i'm literally just gonna accept everything come on minus 55 i guarantee their independence that might help our influence is gonna tank a bit but we can break these because now we can form that federation obviously select trade league this is unlocked when you finish mercantile as well i'm gonna rename it trade is back use the minimum amount of favors that we can which is two and oh yes Research. now we are rolling we found people aha so what does that do it gives us the trade policy trade league which gives us 0.5 energy 0.2 unity 0.2 consumer goods per trade look at our resources now we don't have to buy consumer goods we could just sell them they're worth a lot we've also now got a friend which means they're an ocean world so could we get a migration tree and get some ocean worlds there's a tropical world could do that oh and there's a mega corp they're a syndicate though that doesn't sound good Does that mean they're the crime because i really don't want crime i will kill them i'm gonna spy on them first i'm pretty sure they're crime <laughs> and also i forgot something we can change our colonies and colony to an urban world which gives 20 percent trade value we didn't miss out on too much but we miss out on some trade value there we can also level up our federation which we should probably do a couple of envoys to get it up as quick as we can we'll get more trade value more speed more trade value more trade value more trade value just help yeah i do want that migration treaty so that we can get an alloy world because our rings suck for alloys we do have alloy districts but we're kind of using our rings up for trade and Research, stuff please. and our minerals do give alloys but this is just tech and our resources oh look at it go max sell is 32 so we'll sell max consumer goods and we'll also buy max alloys 10 yeah this feels much better than the habitat trade build that we were playing before oh no and this is the issue when you don't work your enforcer you forget to turn it on when you need to and then you get severely punished but aha <laughs> i have time travel yeah we were at 31 percent. that's so punishing and because we now have their migration tree we can actually settle on this tropical world and make a really nice alloy world when we have the resources are you serious oh well i'm not gonna change that why do we have to come and fiddle you that mean they're the crime because i really don't want crime i will kill them i'm gonna spy on them first i'm pretty sure they're crime <laughs> they have the crime oh well, uh, they were a mega cry mega cop. That's why it happened. And that's just what you get for slaves coming, I suppose. They're just going to start sapping our trade value on our capital and on our planet. Okay, they will have to die. <laughs> you will die. What this has also allowed us to do is slowly get rid of artisan jobs so we can work different ones. Well, as these stupid criminals. Oh, I hate this game. So we will kill them, I promise you. And I forgot to promote both factions so we can just get more unity. No negative to it. And they want someone on the council. We can just get a general which we will use eventually who is materialist and they give us consumer goods why not that's consumer jobs to work and even with four enforcers we still have 43 percent crime <laughs> i hate them i hate them so much yeah we now have 16 scientists we're up to 400 science probably want to make this minerals just so we can feed our massive alloy world but we also have a lot of clerks what are they giving 20 trade and four percent that good you have four traders i'm not sure just need alloys yeah we're gonna switch to minerals because they give us minerals and alloys finally expand the council director of trade 0.4 per level we'll just put our highest level on because nobody has good council trade oh there's a good one actually minerals from jobs and they're a trader too and they're level three so you're hired the ratio the bad and they will go on capital because it produces some trade and then and whoever that leader was can go on this planet. So we are effectively getting 1.2 just from their level, then another 0.8, so two because of oligarch, which gives us council skill effective two. I believe that's how it works. We should have traders that give us 13 trade. Yes, I think so. I'm not sure, but we're just getting a lot of trade now. Integrated cybernetics is huge for the, us because we need it for the ascension perk or cybernetic ascension. And let's just give us more unity so we can get through that quicker. Okay, alloy planet is huge and it's producing zero too perfect another hive mind of course geez they're big they are overwhelming in fleet power but equivalent to everything else which is quite good for this build actually i think before we were sucking trader two is great for steve more trade currently getting 174 trade pretty decent we want to keep james may elected cheese
Do we want to use Unity for that? Probably not. I don't actually care. It's charged. Do whatever you want, Jim. Prosperity is now finished. We can't unfortunately go the flesh is weak because we need two essential picks. But we can finish off diplomacy to do that. I guess we want Egg Ascendancy. A bit more research speed. And a renowned Paragon who is an Admiral who isn't that good. As you can imagine, Alloys is the biggest pain. And I didn't want to kill someone this early. We wanted to build up. But I just... Crime is hindering us quite a lot. Wait, what? Oh, the, they got elected. <laughs> the one who we put on here. That's annoying. Yeah, once we get disruptors, I'm just gonna pump out disruptor corvettes, I think. Experimental subspace navigation this early. What the hell? I don't want it. Disruptors. Because we on three ships, we get 300. 361 strength. Fortunately, I haven't got supremacy or anything like that. So we're just gonna have to bite the bullet and make full strength. But I think our build's quite strong. Actually, this is quite good. Oh damn it. I've let them sneak past. That's so annoying. Okay, they have a 2k. They're only superior. I just want to murder them. So bad. Can I take all their planets. Pick one. We have no influence game. That's the issue. <laughs> Declare war. I don't want war on those. No, they want to vassal them. I want to vassal them. What if we... <laughs> oh, they're overwhelming. And they're our rival? Oh, well, I'll take an influence. I'm kind of cucking a, a friend here. And I need to kill the mega corp. The evil mega corp. Sorry. Artisan troop is great. Artisan troop give us events for influence, which we're severely lacking at the moment. You just need to become their Patreon, like you can do for this channel. Links in the description. You get to name planets, leaders, fleets, like Mardi Brudos. And ships, as you know, lovers, depending on the tiers. And also, we get a bit more unity. The 4k, what is this? We'll take disruptor twos, even though I have no rare crystals. I can actually use our building slots. Ooh. And also, just clear everything that you can when you can. They give you alloys. I'm dumb. Should have done that a while ago, especially with our leader who makes it all cheap. Okay, we've actually got claims on every one of their planets now. They're equivalent to us. I just want to make sure we can win the war. I don't want to die. I need the rare crystals so we can actually upgrade to get two disruptors when we get the tech in four months we now have disrupt views i'm just gonna buy a few crystals so we can actually do the upgrade we should be able to take them now oh and they're getting vassalized by someone else i should have accepted it that was a misplay now we're weaker cruisers buy before you have 30 researching yeah this builds way way better trade value when they're on the council yes well is he's finished flesh is weak can be done okay, we have 5k now i want to murder Congo war girl more trade value when on council hopefully they vote yes they do oh and our federation leveled up more trade value but as this game goes on we just get stronger i forgot also to build armies because i'm an idiot every damn time i'm hoping our friend is coming to help us they are so i'm just gonna sit on our star base because they do have about 5k which is the same as us even though i think our design's way better but we may as well play it safe and there's a galactic community everything's going very nicely yeah and they've got holdings as well this is why we need to kill them they're destroying our allies are here let's go murder here they are fight them should easily win this, especially because we can do some buffs. 6.6k. Oh yeah, they're dead. We didn't even need our ally. It'll probably help. I forgot to put our general on as well. That would help. And we can also now go cybernetics. Cybernetics is great because once we embrace it, we can get even more trade value, which helps our economy. Even more. More. Everything's more, more, more. Oh, I went in by myself, but it doesn't even matter. As an next civic, you can really just go whatever you want. I like going meritocracy because we'll get 10% more alloys, 10% science. It's great. Here we have one. And the crime is gone. Oh my gosh. What a mess. Oh, and that species was very good at living on that other world. Oh, that's great. We have a bunch of planets to fix. Yeah, this is this is good though because now there's no crime. Crime is cured. So beautiful. Okay, well, this was looking like a science world, so we'll make it a science world. This was like an industrial-ish world, so we'll do that. Oh, they had a red relic will start interesting that means we get the faculty of archaeo study is very nice was this just more tech how much tech do we go <laughs> i think we need to turn this into i have no idea this one is nothing this is an alloy will so this one needs to be minerals because otherwise we will not have enough minerals but we have even more planets because they were in the same sector holy moly well you know when they when they give you an alloy will you take an alloy will but at least that's all it can be and then food maybe we will need food eventually will we we're also going to go to what Operative. Everyone's superior to us. We need we need big fleets and wire every trade route back. We have 
so many shipyards. Oh my gosh. Oh, I always forget to put on academic privileges, which gives us 10% more science. We'll move to sell consumer goods probably then. Also a few stability issues. Move our own pops over. Does that help? A little bit. If we give them social welfare, that might help. A little bit. We're also first in the council. Pretty good. Make sure to push through anything that gives more trade value and wait for an economy. We need to find people to subjugate. Now, I think that's the next step. The prime people are perfect. They, however, hate us. We could just do the war, though. We will do that. My ally might even do it for us. Good. Cybernetic revolution. Flesh is weak. Now everyone's cybernetic. They get more habitability and stuff. And once we have gene tailoring, we are researching. We can change them. Yeah, first we would need to get cyborg bulk traits from this. And now for instance, the meta here, the meta Vidari. Our initial species can now get trading algorithms, which give us 25% more trade value, which is very good. And we're creating that template and we're going to apply it only to our trade rings, I think. It's cheaper, quicker. We don't really need it for the other ones. Maybe on our capital, but we don't have that much trade going on here. Oh, wow. They had claims on everything. <laughs> our vassal is very small, unfortunately. We get a few resources there and we got a planet in revolt. I'm trying to fix it. Work this job, you idiot. Why are they so unhappy? Faction approval. Oh, it's zero. Can I just suppress it? Just tell them no. So these guys just finished to war but they were humiliated so i can just come in and tributize them <laughs> i am not sorry i need your alloys all of it i can't wait till they fix this that's so stupid i can just take a different empire just got in their fist are you serious if i vassalize these and i get them as well okay ah oh, so annoying they're equivalent to us though our trade's coming on 406 and 389 it's not bad we're getting almost 600 energy off trade it's, it, honestly it's not too bad it's not as good as it was but it did need an earth let's be real you know a pops is very strong we just now need to be strong enough to vassalize before the two times crisis spawns in 10 years it's quite tight still we need alloys from us up to 1k research i'm just going to pick the small tech so we can try and get past people in terms of heck as well it all helps we need to just be able to click declare war and tributize and we should be able to win and cybernetics is finished modify species cost is reduced and we get more picks so we can actually try and min max our planets a little bit but the trade things probably name them they literally just do trade and reduce sprawl give us more amenity usage but fine give them more happiness to find of more trade in a way we'll apply this to the trade then we could make we can make science ones then for our capital get rid of unruly so we can bring down our empire sprawl logic engines and power intensive upkeep by one for energy but then we can put natural energy it's on so even more science there. can't use it yet because uh you can't queue them unfortunately and then we get an ascent pick which will go defender of the galaxy everyone will like us more might make vassalization easier no Oh, they have association stars. Are you kidding me? And our director of trade gives us more ship build costs. That's so annoying, though. <laughs> with two with that on. That's ridiculous. Okay, we've got another vassal. They are um across the entire galaxy. That's besides the point. And finally go supremacy. Dear dear. Okay, I can actually make them a subject, the ones who are associated status by giving them 30% of our tech. I think it's worth it, because then I can change it. Yep. Because I get another vassal as well, I think, right? They declined it. You Arts. <laughs> now I have no influence. We can instead uh, declare one our bottom neighbor though. Make them a tributary. Bear vote, yes. They did. Oh, we got the best insight tech alloys. God. Right, it's going to spawn in five years. Let's hope we can get this board done relatively quickly. Oh, my vassal from up down here is helping. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Since the maneuver. Just got a very good trader from one of the events. Trade value, 10%. Trade value, 25 there. Get rid of our stupid one. That's big be sad. Okay, we're going to achieve war goal. That's a big old vassal. That is a big old vassal. Okay, so these pops only make alloys. So let's make them a good alloy. What do they have? They have aquatic, which not great. They're not really on ocean world. That's fine. There's not a specific alloy alloy income trait but there is efficient processes which give five percent we can put on and let's just let them grow quicker prices can almost spawn but honestly we are looking good i think and then we could just make vassals as well oh i can't wait for the change there we go found the creator order finally means we can get 10 percent more research speed breed is coming on though 731 630 trade is still surpassing subject to so it is the backbone of our economy, which is good. And another vassal. Prices can now spawn. And another one. Yeah, I can literally vassal everyone if I had the influence. <laughs> Who do I have a research agreement with? You. No more research agreement. Well, I can't vassalize these because they have a thing and we have a peace agreement.
agreement with them. Do we just build up ready for the crisis, I think? The war on who? No, we could do sedation instead. For me, if 12 claims on them, but I'm fine making an ally bigger. I'm fine with making a tributary war. <laughs> 15k versus 60. Space Storm! Beeper's awake. Uh oh. Don't hurt us, please. Premises now finished. Galactic to contend is very fitting since uh, they've awoken. Or oh, we go share destiny. Do my vassals hate me? Not oh, really. Galactic contender it is. I can finally get rid of the malfunctioning reactor. Upkeep of the districts and building. <laughs> 100%. Oh dear. There we go. Oh gosh, this got broken up a bunch. But who cares? Because it's another vassal. While we wait for the crisis, we'll keep building up our ships and vassalizing, I guess. Whether that peacefully or if we're eventually gonna have to go to war with someone oh no we can just do it <laughs> there we go now we just need these who are an overlord so we can't really get but we can declare war on them in two years we'll just do that look how many consumer goods we're getting holy moly war no don't you dare war them i wanted to tributize them no both wars fail oh gosh this is the issue with a massive federation also it's gonna go down in a level i've tried to vote for no subject but nobody wants it come on let me vassal them please oh i can just tributize them now actually there we go hopefully they accept it no because they're an overlord <laughs> another ascension pick probably galactic force projection prepare for war i need to get one favor from everyone to pass this vote oh i love this one. Oh, they literally hate us why'd you hate us oh now it now we can do this what whatever no more vassals in the federation please wait this was the wrong law i need a lot of favors oh so this is every month is going up the acceptance i think it's because our cohesion's going up i might be able to pass this if i just wait minus three come on minus one zero one okay vassals can go now means there's only two of us and now should be able to just pass this law please they're the ones <laughs> one two is saying no why why how do i make him say yes what do you want me to do why does why do they say no like this is so stupid i can't see why and how to actually make it happen freaking annoying Major refinery oh yes give me that how's the trade going 1185 oh it's growing we've just done mega structure engineering as well which means we can actually repair the ring don't know if this is worth it what do we even get do we get better trade districts probably is worth it gonna need to get shared destiny i think the vassals are not happy and also the crisis is not spawned yet okay, let's prepare some rings do we almost have a mill is that kind of more like 400k but this build is strong I can declare myself the custodian i think next session i wonder can we finally do the stupid war a cohesion's mat <sighs> galactic stock exchange or oh, trade oh now their association status would ever vassaling them i will become the custodian and honestly bored waiting for the crisis now so i'm just gonna go kill the pirates to test out the power of uh almost half a mil no it's definitely half a mil now yeah it's definitely half a mil oh we're already there jeez we zoom across this map let's see us in action no edicts as well just pure cruisers with the missiles yeah they just melt No, yep, they're dead. The crisis ain't spawning anytime soon, it seems. And we've done so much better than the habitat trade build. This was fun. I would recommend. I'm just going to see how much we can push our trade because we do have the Galactic Stock Exchange. And of course, we'll wait for the repair chat for rings. Yeah, and our capital, it changes everything. No more minerals. But we can just go mass research. And here, hopefully, it doesn't get rid of too many commercial zones. 1,107. And it drops quite significantly because we lost the bunch of stuff why why do we lose so many jobs then these give traders and clerks instead of consumer goods and traders so it's, it is actually better for us to go up the only issue is <laughs> our capital was giving us a lot of uh minerals it's fine though 1715 trade here and 1312 here mainly because we've ascended as well but this was fun if you enjoyed this video and you want to see the pain of the habitats if you haven't seen it click here to watch it it's complete chaos